Hello, hello. Happy Monday. Chat, I owe you an apology. Uh, I knew this was going to be a later stream. I did not think it would be this late. But we're here. I'm here now. Uh, I got some demos I want to tick off the list. Uh, get those out of the way. Get some excitement going for some new stuff. Pardon me, new stuff coming out. Uh, plus the demo shouldn't take very long. <clears throat> At least I don't. Uh, so I've had Man of the, a Man of the Adventurer 2. That's still a demo. Beyond Hanwell. Beyond Hanwell is out. Which is fine. And then Bloody Hills. Bloody Hills is also out. That's all right. <clears throat> we'll do those three. It shouldn't take too long. You'll have to excuse me. I'm absolutely stuffing my face. I've had this weird issue yesterday, all day yesterday and today. I am just insatiably hungry. Just, just starving. Just so, so hungry. And I can't, like nothing, it doesn't matter how much I eat. Nothing does it. It's the weirdest thing. I even tried drinking water thinking that like, I'm probably actually just thirsty. That also didn't do the trick. Yeah, I tried, I tried drinking water, thinking that was it. That was not it. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. finally hitting a point of feeling not as fucking hungry.
Wait a minute, what happened to my... I was just staring at my... That was so weird. That was such a weird thing. I was just staring at my OBS preview. Because I, I, I noticed something was off, but I couldn't figure out what it was. And I was like, man, something doesn't doesn't look right about about this just chatting screen here. All my socials are gone. Yeah, they're they're gone. This long weekend tripped me up, and for a second, when I saw your notification, I was all wise. He's streaming on a side. Oh, that's right. I forgot today is a normal holiday for for people. Yeah, yeah. Man, what? That's so weird. Well, I don't think I even know. Uh, I should probably know, but I actually don't think I know what it is today. Oh, indigen Indigenous Peoples Day. Okay. I don't think it really clicked for me that that was a uh, federal holiday until just now. There we go. I don't know how those ended up out of order. Formerly Columbus Day. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The symbols are still janky. What happened to this scene here? All right, we're just gonna float this over here. No, nope, not quite. Close enough. It works. gonna do some accelerated game starts here just because I, I hopped on so late. hell i was like what the fuck um 
Not this one, because I started late. But, okay, let me life vantage here for a hot second. Let me look. Thursday. I work a normal shift Thursday. Thursday. We can start a Thursday. Boy, Loud Mountain really took me way too long to figure out. Which is, you know, a little embarrassing. I have demos I want to check off the list for today, which works out. And then we'll play Brokeback, I mean Loud Mountain. Loud Mountain on Thursday. Uh, I didn't think so. I don't know. Let me find out. Nope. Today was uh, for the first time. I just got the, the feed thing on Steam for the game. I did play the entirety of the first one, but I didn't play this demo. This is the sec the demo for the second one. Yeah, I remember you playing the first one, but I could have sworn you played the demo to the second. Jesus. Hold on, wait a minute. Hmm. No, the first one did have an FPS section. I just don't remember it. Oh, it's right. Puzzles. Okay. I just remember watching the videos a lot. Hey, Margaret, found an odd tape in book returns. Haven't looked into it myself, but I was hoping you could take a look at it when you can. It's in the locked cabinet. You remember the code, right? Fuck no. Um, also, you might need to take a look at some of the books. I've been told some of them have been tampered with. I swear this is like the fifth one this week. I'd put them aside for you, but I think the new guy... I, oh god, accidentally put them aside. Sorry, put them back into the library without look, looking. Pro tip, never get indigestion. I hate to ask, but if you got a moment, could you look around the library and see if you can find them? There should be a history of these books in the library database, so use that to help you out finding them. Don't stay up too late. Have a good night. Okay, am I working night shift at a library? Does it need to be open overnight? Oh, I need that, I think. Excuse you? Something's, something's wonky here. Is it this? What is going on? <clears throat> I 
KPL's mascot, Wooly. Those are some nice looking pens. No? Oh, all right. Don't know what that is. Not sure I want to know. Okay. What the fuck are these things? I remember seeing them as a kid. Are they just... Are they step stools? Why do they look like that? I always saw them as, as kid... As a as kid. I, I see as kid. I always saw them as a kid, and then when I turned into a, an adult who was, like, aware of their surroundings somewhat, I never fucking saw them again. So you can roll... Oh, okay. And then when you stand on them, they squish down. I was a teenage teenager. All right. Tampered with. Right. This button. Oh, uh, so like this one for sure, right? Because like, duh. But that one not, but it was still just kind of hanging out there. All right, so... JP is six. Was that the top one? So it's six. Ooh, is it Delhi shoe ball or is it Delhi shovel? Or is that the same name? Okay, so six three. Let's try that. Okay. There's motherfuckers in the vents. C E. Well then. There's a five in there somewhere. So I guess that would mean it's either five eight or eight five. Yep. <clears throat> ah. Let's plan a trip. 
The Man of the Adventurer. Does that say the untold story of Melon Baller? Sure does. Imaginations we can with my magic train. If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Hmm. I bet you. Do you really think you could do that? Yes. I thought that would be the right I'd answer. I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have been. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? That's what was much that? better. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Hmm, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. Yeah, break that shit open. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? Smash it. I can pull off the plug, or I can smash it! Ah, uh, you're no fun. I caved. Count them together. Oh God, One, the hand is so two, disturbing. Three, four, five. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can Excuse I find that? Excuse you? Wow, planning this trip with you is going to take forever, isn't it? F uh, fuck you. It's not this one. Our next stop is Mexico City. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. Um, anyway, that ticket costs three coins. So let's take those away from what we have. One. The like AI is a idea, idea of a hand. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, no, that's all our coins. And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? Uh, the chicken, What's obviously. What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. Wow, 
I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. I wouldn't go that far. Wait a minute. You have I one in your pocket? I have a coin in my pocket. You sure fucking now do. Now I have four. That's enough for our last stop. No, oh, no, no. Go away. Get this weirdo out of here. Swipe or no swiping? Oh, I'm supposed to do something. Where am I going to get an extra coin? Smash cut to her pulling down a balaclava and holding up a bank. Bro, I was thinking along the same. F Are we back? What the fuck happened? You broke it. You did break it. Thank you for the bit. Yeah, I thought I was like, oh, she's going to like be like, we should sell drugs or some shit like that. Yeah, I don't know. I, bro, I straight up don't know what happened. I, it, OBS just flat out crashed. <laughs> that was really weird though. Well, cause the, cause the game hung a little bit and then I watched the preview and the preview was frozen. And then I went to go click on OBS to like try to see if it was still running and it just shut down. I know what it is. It's the really bad Ram I have in this computer. I don't know. I, I got it from some, from some drifter. Just some guy, some random person who was selling some Ram. <laughs> Yeah, he was a. Uh, he had it in his shoes. Now look, I'm gonna need you to uh, chillax, okay? In the vents. I say this out of love, but I can only imagine the absolute mess your window install is. It just. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Here's the thing. I don't even know how you would go about telling if it is a mess. I got like folders and shit everywhere. But the actual Windows install, I have no fucking way to tell. Probably a mess by this point. It's got it's got to be, right? Statistically. Numerically speaking, because I know you. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh. I don't Uh Okay, that made me super uneasy. Tyrant, welcome in. Good to see you. The most clapped out Windows install NA. Oh, here's, okay. Um, here's a realization I had the other day. So you, you mentioned, you mentioned uh, in, in the chat recently, not this chat, but like our Telegram chat details. Um, but you had mentioned that you reinstalled Windows. And I was confused by that. 
Like, it didn't make sense to me that you were just reinstalling Windows. Um, because the computers that I'm used to working with, everything is on one drive. So if you reinstall Windows, it's all gone. It's all gone. And I, I was actually on a voice call with GB and I was just like, help me understand this. Cause I, cause I don't. And he was like, bro, what the fuck don't you get? And I was like, it doesn't make sense to me. How does he not lose everything? He goes, cause it's on different drives. You dingus. And I was like, look, man, look, you can stop your groaning. You'll be fine. Um, he was like, cause it's, it's just a windows like partition. And I was like, look, man, I, I haven't computed in a while. Okay. To me, hearing, oh, I reinstalled Windows, the whole PC is completely fresh. Uh, different drives than if only you had an ass. That's a, I, I, I don't want to undersell how good of a point that is. But I also want to say, I don't actually store... I do store stuff on it, but like the stuff that I store on it is stuff I would never put on my PC. Like I don't, I don't have, I don't just have like folders and, and stuff mapped to it as like backup. I've, I've, I have my, my, my photo library from my camera and that's it. I don't have games on there. I don't have, I mean, I just have my Plex library and, and my photo backups and that's it. I don't even have the I don't even have the NAS mapped as a, a as a drive in Fire Explorer. I do it all through the um, the web interface for QNet. Okay, which toothbrush do you think I? I know which one you like. Because sometimes mapping it in File Explorer just doesn't work. I feel Amanda. high. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, friends. You didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Whatever the fuck you are <laughs> is what I'm afraid of. Look, I'll be honest, that was the demo? Kind of not much of a demo, to be completely honest with you. Big! 22 months, not always yellow. Thank you so much for the 22 month sub. What? Mozzarella. Fucking mozzarella. Oh man, I mean that's what happens when you eat too much cheese. See the hydrate. I did not hear the hydrate audio. Thank you for the 22 months. Is GB in Steam? I am guessing you meant stream tonight. Uh, if he is, he's lurking. I have not seen him. 
I'll get your hydrant here. Uh, let's see. All my important data is in a couple folders on a local machine. All those folders are automatically backed up to the NAS or have cloud saves. The rest is just reinstallable things. Yeah, I don't have a system. Um, stuff just lives in places on my PC. Wherever there is... I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. <laughs> Thank you for the TTS. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't... Th this, this machine does not have a system, which is how I've just always done. Even when I had my laptop, it was the same deal. Um, most things are actually in my downloads folder. I think my I think my two largest folders, in no particular order, only because I don't I don't know, um, are downloads and my pictures folder. And I think my downloads folder wins. <laughs> yes, yeah, stop that. I just don't like. Like if I'm looking for a file, I'm checking the downloads shortcut because that's there's like a 99.9% .9 chance it's in there. Just put all your important data in a directory or two, back it up, then you could just blow out your install and start. I would, I wouldn't, how do I, how do I not word salad this? Uh, the answer is you don't cheese. You just kind of say it and it turns out to be word salad anyways. Okay. So <sighs> yes, I love and hate, but I think I love more than I hate that you picked up on that. Yes. I, well, I think I just can't determine what isn't important because to me it's all somewhat important. And then and then with a fresh install like I have a bunch of programs and software and shit that I I use I probably use fairly regularly, but if it's gone this is not going to make sense to you probably. Like Peace, for example. I use Peace regularly. Peace is always running. But if it weren't on the PC, like if I reinstalled Windows, right? I could easily forget about Peace and not realize that I don't have it. And then just go an embarrassingly long amount of time without having... Uh, like headphone EQ, which is fine. That's not the end of the world, right? That's a that's a small thing. Um, my argument will always be if you forget about if you forget it exists, you don't need it. I I won't say you're wrong. That's decent advice, but I forget stuff I need and stuff that is important constantly. It leaks out of my ears like fresh water. Yes, I just remembered it this time. I absolutely should develop a system that works for me regarding directories and files and folders on this and, and program shortcuts, etc, etc on this on this PC. Um, so that I can just fresh install Windows and I know what I need to reinstall. You're absolutely right. There is a there is a there is a workaround to it. It just won't like it'll have to be like very detailed. Like I might have to have cloud-based sheets, like Excel sheets or Google Sheets or um notes, cloud-based notes of everything that I like all the main software that I use and should need to keep installed or need to reinstall. Especially for streaming stuff, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of like plugins and attachments and stuff. Um, 
So yes, I can get to a point where I can just fresh install windows. Um, but yeah. You're talking about the best place to store feet pics? Yes. Even if you want to squirrel away a ton of stuff, just put it all in a couple directories. Keep mine in the cloud. Do you keep your feet pics in the cloud? Weirdo. Who keeps feet pics in the cloud? Mine's on a dusty hard drive. Yeah, so if I ever get hacked, they're like, oh fuck, what have I done? Oh man. Oh, yes. Sorry. No, I don't mind. Sorry. <laughs> I have a bad habit of getting slightly confused when I ask if someone minds something and they say yes. And then here I am just doing it myself. Okay, I'm going to grab this. And then we're going to share with the class. Class. We're going to maybe share with the class. There we go. Hey, class. So sorry I'm late, Mrs. Jensen. Uh, second graders, good to good to see ya. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, it's like 45 minutes after I'm when I was supposed to show up today. Ranger Rubin from the Park Service, I'm here to talk to you. I'm gonna be honest with you guys right up front. A uh, full transparency on the way over here, I just creamed a deer. And, uh, oh, shouldn't have probably said that. He's fine. Um, died. The uh, principal, Mr. Nelson, I gave him a ring and I thought it would kind of be a given that I'd be able to take the afternoon off and not have to come and talk to you guys given the uh, unfolding circumstances, but he insisted that I come in uh, to the absolute d damn darn surprise of me. So I'm here, I'm sorry I'm late and sorry about the deer and um, uh, children in nature. We got, sorry, my head is just murdering me since the accident. Uh, um, I Most of the props I brought over got destroyed in the car. <laughs> How? What a performance. What a performance. It is total. I found this damn, I found a pine cone on the way over. So if you guys want to just pass that around, that's sorry. Right. Most of the stuff got squished. Um, is, is Principal Nelson, is he, is he in the building right now? Why? Is he here Where is he? right now? a vet appointment? <sighs> All right, kids. You are going to, um, we're here to talk about the trails that you can walk around with your family that might be around you and your local community. Could you, do you have a cell number? I tried ringing him. He's not picking up. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Hold on. I can't do it. There's two of you. Um, I got, um, I had a bag of butterflies. I got one of them. Sorry. Ignore <laughs> I had the a piece bag. Of my rate. I had a bag of butterflies. <laughs> Just a, just a bag of them, dude. A whole bag. You mind playing one of those seasons of Nanalana he sent you via email? Oh my god. Enjoy your meal. You too. I I don't remember I did that to someone I definitely should not have done it to. It wasn't a waiter. Fuck, I can't remember who it was. But I absolutely did that the other day that's piercing his thorax he's since passed you can probably pass him around though and get the gist of you know the plumage uh sorry god damn it uh, let's talk about trees and uh soil erosion sorry my ear is ringing like nuts there's, hey, I, there's glass in my ear there's glass in my ear and jim nelson says come in i'm not gonna pay you but still come in i don't walk a mile with this stuff in my ear you want to here feel this feel how sharp that is what's the general tone <laughs> of the room feeling on principal nelson you guys like this guy sweet 
Ms. Jensen's saying stick to the topic. Okay, I got, uh, is he, I'm sorry, do you have kids? Do we have a permission slip with his number? I've been trying to contact him. I'm just, I'm not getting paid to even be here today. So I'm just trying to figure out sort of my civil kind of lawsuit situation that we're dealing, that we're dealing with. I'll be done in a minute. We're dealing with a really bad man kids though. So I wouldn't <laughs> trust. Oh, I did, I did grab this. The antler for the deer that I creamed. You guys probably, this is really sharp, but if you want to pass that around, that's fine. I didn't realize I bit my tongue so bad till now. It just tastes like I'm licking a nickel. No, I'm fine. I, I'm good. I'm good to go. <laughs> <She's disgusting. laughs> the the repetitive usage of creamed deer, bro. Shut up. <laughs> Soil erosion. Uh, we should probably talk. About, I'm getting a call right now here. Um, the, oh, my car is getting towed. Um, I don't know how they're gonna tow it without the axle. Can I use your phone? My battery's at a one percent. I'm gonna. I gotta wrap this up with these. Fucking Move on. This is not clotting. To uh, let's talk birch trees. You can't pick the bark off. It kills them. I know the Indians did it, but the, or natives did it. You can't do that. Why? Why? What? Do you have a question? The butterfly's just gonna fall apart. You can't cry. You didn't do it. Don't cry. I I did it. I squashed it with the car. So just move it along. Oh my God. Where's the shoe? Um, guys, where's Ranger Ruben's shoe? Who's got it? What? I have tinnitus now. What do you, you guys speak up? What? I walked in here like this. That tracks. That tracks based on the day. I. Is he coming back to the office today? Do you think? <laughs> that was great. I enjoyed that. Short and sweet. My haircut guy, barber? Anyways, my haircut guy said, you guys are great to me and Alexandria as we were leaving. And I said, no, you. And he said, I'm not doing this with you and walked away. I'm not doing this uh, with hello, you. This is God, how funny. Uh, hello, this is Joe. Uh, this is my application to be a middle school teacher at Gainesboro or Gain Gainesville Middle School. Uh, why do I want the job? I'm really good. With, I'm passionate about education and shit, and I love and shit. Children are cool. You know, small kids and little people are not like midgets. Or <laughs> I just ages eight to ten shouldn't be a problem. I got my nephew Travis is eight. It's fucking fine. He's football and stuff. I can figure it out. Um, <laughs> I know the area really well. I grew up about 20 minutes north of Gainesville and honestly growing up, a lot of the Gainesville kids were like kind of gay. It's okay. What? It was, it was 1993. So that's fine to say. I'm just saying like, I'm not, I obviously won't fucking, I'm not going to say that at school now, but just categorically, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about because there's no better way to describe them. Um, I am currently between employment situations. Wait, so what was his? Okay, again, I know it's a bit. Not again. I didn't say that once. Get your shit together. Um, what was he even trying to say? For, it was funny. well. I grew up about twenty minutes north of Gainesville, and honestly, growing up, a lot of the Gainesville kids were like kind of gay. It's okay. For, it was. It was. And then he goes on this so defensive fine to say, swing, just saying, right? Like, I'm not, okay, but then he I'm never gets fucking, back to I'm his not point. I'm going to say that at school now, but just categorically, just so you know what I'm talking about, because there's no better way to describe them. Um, I am currently between employment situations. That's fine. Uh, as of about the last 20 minutes ago, I fucking left my Casio on the work locker. I got to go back. I don't, please don't call previous employment for recommendations. My boss is honestly just probably a bitch about shit. It's just, I, I have 20 minutes for lunch and I, if I get to 7-Eleven and they don't have the hot wings done, I can't fucking speed up a microwave. I have to wait like everybody else in line. So I'll bring my own lunch. I probably, it's probably good track record. I don't have any outstanding warrants. Like I've got some bullshit. That should be wrapped up within the year, though. But most of that is located in the state of Montana, so I don't think that's going to affect this shit at all. Um, Bro, this is... He's fucking nailing this. Like... This... This feels so real. Like, it feels... This... Uh, maybe not real. It feels like there is someone out there who could do this unironically. I'd really honestly like to start as soon as possible. If I could get in Monday and be at work and with the kids by Monday, that'd be honestly tits. But like Wednesday is kind of my bottom line. 
for when I got to get stuff going because I'm down to one, two, three, four, five. I got 500 here. Um, I can't push past Wednesday, so please don't like fuck around and kind of like waste my time. Um, my phone number is attached to the email. Uh, please, I'm not gonna say it here. I'm not gonna dox myself. Um, but if you could just, if you could send this to your hiring department guy um, or lady, uh, that'd be great. Uh, please, or just lady. I know you got them in your system. Just fucking send it. I don't waste my time. What happened? Or lady. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, please just, I know you got them in your system. Just fucking send it. I don't waste my time. Uh, yeah, so this is Joe Burrow, not the quarterback. It's, it's me. It's just, I didn't fucking. <laughs> not the quarterback. No fucking shit. Not the quarterback. <laughs> that would honestly be tits. <laughs> Choose to be named that. So please, yeah, let me know if I got the job and uh, we'll go from there. Bro. I like that his stuff is shorter too. YouTube, YouTube did this weird thing. Like the, like the culture of YouTube did this weird thing where like length didn't really matter, but then it did. And it was like, well, your video has got to be at least 10 minutes because you get another ad roll. You get a mid or no, you get a mid roll. If you hit 10 minutes, so you get the one at the beginning, but then you get another one. If you're over 10 or, 10 minute videos were proven to have better retention, yada, yada, yada. Um, but like, he doesn't care about length. This one, uh, I saw one that was four and a half minutes. This one's three and a half, three and three quarters, four and a half, two and a half, not even a minute, minute and a half, just over a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I feel like I watched the gender one on stream once. But I've definitely, I've definitely seen the janitor one. This one stuck out to me. Oh, hold up there, Buster. Oh, hey, couldn't help but notice you're trespassing on my land. That's a Sorry. real ass fucking shotgun. I, I just want to add that. At least as far oh, as I can tell. Hold up there, Buster. Oh, hey, couldn't help but notice you're <laughs> trespassing. <laughs> On my land. Sorry, I was just hiking through. I didn't know this was private property. Best get to step in, <laughs> That's son. a real shot. I can just get off if you need me to. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. You're doing a lot of yammering, but unbeknownst to you, you're speaking your final words. You don't need to brandish that weapon. It's I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, sounds to me like we got what a bit of a- What do you want me to watch? Uh, smart ass on our hands. <laughs> you're ejecting a lot of shells there. Yup. You're not gonna have any- also, Backwoods, Wisconsin. Yeah, I think that's a hunting stand behind him, too, him? ironically enough. Me? It's like the 12th shell. You little shit. You already got He's one got... in the chamber. I've seen like 36 shells go through that gun. Don't need them. Do you have any left in there? All right. I've had it up to here. Uh, oh, oh, geez. Take this. I can just leave. You're not even. Yeah, I'm shooting at you now. Is that even a real gun? Ah. There's like zero recoil to that gun. Ah. Dude, you're not <laughs> even it by the close to me here. Alakablam! I don't understand the physics of this. You're gonna wanna get. Well, all right. <laughs> Dude, how many shells do you have in that gun? I got 57 more goddamn rounds in this four round magazine. <laughs> Instant death, instant death, instant death, instant death, instant death, instant death, instant death. Ah, ow. Ah. Hey, who shot that? Yep, that was me. Uh, I definitely thought that would kill you, though. I mean, like, yeah, this will kill me, but, like, not for quite some time. Oh, that's weird. Pretty much everybody else I've been shooting is dying, like, the second I hit them. They had to have been pretending. Like, this is a piece of wood. Like, it still is going to kill me, but yeah, yeah. honestly, maybe probably from infection. I don't know. I must have hit, like, 50 or 60 of those guys, and all of them dropped like a sack of taters. Wait, you've been able to hit, like, 50 or 60? Oh, I'm pretty good. How, how fast are you shooting? Oh, I'm pretty I don't good. know, like, so fat like really fast show me right now i don't know i kind of don't want to now shoot some guys i don't know now i'm shy come on okay <laughs> 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 
How are you even aiming? Are you even knocking the arrow? I don't know what that means. How many arrows do you even have in that stupid quiver? I don't know, infinity. How many? I said infinity. Infi- you- okay. You can't have Sorry. infinity amount of arrows. I don't you know. You have to have a finite amount and you're shooting them way too mm, fast. This guy sucks. You said he killed 50 or 60 guys. Okay, shut up please. Oh, come on! Okay, for sure I thought that was gonna do it. Maybe shave 20 minutes off my life. Uh, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> To the pellets when you eat that? I'm hoping that's a joke. Oh, is that his brother? Yeah, it's 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 not, you know, they're not out here making fucking cinematic masterpieces, which is which is fine. You don't need to do that, but it's yeah. The whole thing is 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 very well done. Keeg, Keeg, I can't, I have answers to your questions. I just can't tell if there's real questions or not. <laughs> it's the only thing I'd love to answer. You're hundred percent, hundred percent. What joking or serious? <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, unlike, pistols and other firearms shotguns don't automatically eject the f the spent shell after pulling the trigger <coughs> so when you load a shotgun with shells and then you shoot one you have to rack the shotgun so you have to pull that <coughs> damn you have to pull that hand grip back oh and through i didn't know this was private property you best get to stepping son right <coughs> Bro, no idea where this came from. So in regular non-comedic circumstances, this would be a spent or fired shell. And it spits that one out. And then it, uh, this second tube here is actually the magazine. Uh, a lot of shotguns like this have a magazine. You just can't see it because it's not the typical magazine that you're thinking of that sticks out of the bottom of the gun. Um, so you can load like four or five, four to twelve. Four to twelve really depends on the shotgun uh, shells in here. So you kablammy, right? You pull this back, it yanks out the the spent one, and then pops in uh, the next unspent one. It's actually called a feeding tube, technically. But um, so all he's doing is putting either I mean, they could be empty shells, dummy shells, real shells, whatever. Um, he's just putting them in, and then every time he does that, it just it, yeah, he's just cycling it basically. Um, the pellets, as far as what happens to the pellets, these are, um, the way they're packed, Let's see if I can find a, like a picture of the end. Here we go. So they're very tightly packed. I don't know how easy that is to see on stream. Um, but the pellets, the pellets don't move because the whole thing is very dense. Um, Plus, it's got like a lid on it, so to speak. So when you when you throw around a, a like an unused shell, nothing really happens to it. No. Nope. It can. It can if it gets like, uh, you know, I guess if it gets stuck or you know if it misfeeds, I I guess you could fuck up a shell. Um, but ejecting a unspent shell does not does not ruin it. Correct. There are also slugs. So this is this is actually a perfect diagram. Uh, so casing. I don't know. I I'll be honest. I don't know what this red and blue shit is. Um, you know, this is your primer, your brass primer with the firing pin on the bottom, uh, and then these are your pellets. You have different. Uh, what is it called? Is it is it shot? Yeah. There's buckshot, there's birdshot, there's slugs, there's all kinds of different um, types. So slug, few pellets, more pellets, many more pellets. Gauge, that was the word I was looking for, although the gauge here does not refer to the size of the pellet. 
you know, 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 16, 20, like a wire or cable. So the common one you've probably heard of is a 12 gauge. Yeah, slugs are kind of crazy. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Okay. Shot. It is just called shot. Uh, birdshot, buckshot, slug, and then all your components of the of the brass cap. The only other information I've learned about shotguns came from Dave Chappelle. Dave Chapel Run. I hate guns, personally. I can't stand them. Yeah, but I have several. <laughs> but he has several. I hate guns, personally. I can't stand them. Yeah, but I have several. <laughs> I don't want them, but I feel like I need them. Don't forget where I live. I live in Ohio. And anyone that knows anything about Ohio knows that even the word Ohio is an old Native American word. It means literally a uh, land of poor white people. <laughs> and I don't know what's going on down here, but in my experience, uh, poor white people love, and I mean they fucking love heroin. <laughs> they can't not seem to get that. enough of it. I didn't even know what I was looking at at first. I was just driving like, why are all these white people so sleepy out here? These things. <laughs> it's really bad. As a matter of fact, I was coming out of a nightclub the other night in Dayton, and I'd park my car in an alley, and no one was out there. I didn't have no bodyguards or nothing. I was home. I figured everything was fine. And as soon as I opened my car door, all by myself, suddenly, uh, one of these heroin-addicted whites just pops out of a trash can. It scared the shit out of me. I screamed, ah! <laughs> and then I realized it was a woman. She was fucked up. She said, like, <coughs> hey, man. Hey, man, relax, OK? <coughs> I'm sick, all right? I need some drugs, man. Please, I'll suck your dick for $5, man. I was like, ugh. Here's five dollars. <laughs> yep, fucking knew it. Go through the scourge of crack because I don't care either. <laughs> First gun I bought was a 12 gauge shotgun. There it is. I didn't want the gun. Remember though, I'd moved to a farm and I was sitting there on the porch and I see a white dude walking across my property, entitled, like he's supposed to be there. He had a rifle over his shoulder too. Ain't that a bitch? I said, what the fuck is this guy doing on my property? I was mad as shit, but I was unarmed. So I ended up just waving to this motherfucker like a bitch. I was just like... <laughs> and as soon as he got far enough away, I ran to my car and sped to Kmart. <laughs> this is in a rural white area. And remember, I was nervous because a guy was on my property. I'm black and I was sweaty. You know what I mean? And I ran to the gun counter, black and sweaty, sweating and black. And I looked up at the nigga, I was like, I look like a slave or something. I said, I need a gun immediately, like that. Just like that. The guy didn't answer, no questions. He just grabbed a 12 gauge shotgun, handed it to me. I'd never even held a gun before. I'm not a dummy, though. I'm like, well, I need, some, I need some bullets, too. And the guy reached on the counter, put two box shells on the counter. He said, all right, buddy, which box do you want? And I didn't know. One box had a picture of some ducks on it. And the other box had a picture of some deer. I said, well, what's that box? 
with them ducks. He said, oh, that there's bird shot. And then he goes, just like this, I'm not exaggerating, he goes, that won't kill a man. <laughs> he said, it'll just pepper him up nicely. I said, what the fuck, pepper? Yeah, yep. The terminology is crazy. You know what it means to pepper a motherfucker up? It means that when the shell explodes, hot BBs will shoot out of the barrel of the gun, not killing a motherfucker, but penetrating their skin and shallow flesh. Boy, that's gotta hurt. Hot BBs? Ha <laughs> ha! Remember when Dick Cheney shot a motherfucker in the face and he lived? That was bird shot. I said, well, what's that box with the deer on it? He goes, oh, that there's buckshot. That'll put a hole in the goddamn truck if you wanted to. <laughs> but I didn't know that if you're defending your home with a shotgun, the formula dictates that you're supposed to buy both boxes. This was not a formula that I was familiar with. It goes like this. The six shots in a 12-gauge shotgun, so when you load the gun, you load it like this. First shot, bird shot. Next shot, Buckshot, bird shot, and then after that, guns Jamaican. Buckshot, buckshot, buckshot. <laughs> yeah, shotguns for home defense is crazy. It's it's a lot. It's excessive. Very, very excessive, but not like I know a fucking thing about home defense, because I certainly don't. I do know that swinging a shotgun around is crazy. <laughs> I, okay, I, can you explain? I don't get the Jamaican part. I don't get the Jamaican part. Shout out to the USPS workers, though. Oh, oh my God! Hey, hey, mailman! Oh, oh, perfect timing, actually. Yep, I'm just good timing. Home. Okay, here's your mail? mail. Wait, which one? This is all your mail. Take it. This all is, right, see you later. Wait, no, this is your whole bag of mail. Hold, sorry, hold on a second. This is your whole bag of mail. I'm just, there's no way all oh, this is for me. Yep, that's all your mail. Okay, sir, have a good day. Whoa, whoa hold on. What's the matter? Hey, what? What are you doing? What is going on? Here, take the bag. That shirt is <laughs> so fucking it tight. Is supposed to go. The you don't know where the mail is supposed to go? I don't know these people. I don't know where they're supposed to find their houses. Wait, what do you mean you don't know these people? I don't know. Who is who is Gary T? Oh, uh, dude, you're not supposed to know those. You're just supposed to deliver the mail, man. I, but I don't know where these people live. It says pretty clearly on each envelope where yeah, they live. Yeah, I know. Ooh, oh, Chris, drive. I've never even been there. You don't Oh. If you could just take it, I'm sure you probably know a couple of no, people no, in no, here. No, 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 I'm not going to just take Maybe it. Maybe you could kind of just pass it off to someone else. And so, no, I can't do that because then I would be doing your job. It's a hard job. Don't really think it's that hard. It's, what? Oh, cool. Darius P. I've never even met. I don't even know if there's a guy or a lady. Why do you think you don't? So why do you think? you have to know the people i can't oh michael this one doesn't even have a last name how many millions of michaels they're in this city but there's an address though there's an address yeah there. great Ooh, north reg crest i don't even know what a crest is is that a street or an embankment oh you look real rough <laughs> uh, they gave me a lady shirt oh you're lady looking real rough you oh me, please, no. my god I'm, so I'm not gonna do it. Don't come close to me. Please give that. me some Kleenex and juice. No, no, no. So at least just take some the Kleenex and juice. Papers. That shouldn't be too hard. Nobody ever wants these in the first place. So <laughs> I don't want them back. either. How long have you been doing this job? I just got here today, and they hand me this big satchel like I'm freaking Magellan. Here's another one, Linda R. Oh, I want hand me this big satchel like I'm freaking Magellan. I wonder if that's Linda Ronstead. I that's, still don't know no. where she lives. Yeah, I don't know not. where she lives. If you take a couple and I take a couple and I go talk to the lady that lives next door and she takes a couple, we could probably bang this out in a week or so. Will you help? I'm not going to do the mail job. Well, You're the mailman. It. Rain or shine, it's so sunny. That's your whole slogan though. I that's didn't come it. up with it. I just worked there. I put in a job application. I want to go back and work at Popeyes. It was easy, but they caught me stealing ketchup and it says it was free for customers. Why am I not? customer okay fine you're not gonna help me deliver the mail but if you could help me 
write a letter begging for Popeyes to take me back. Please, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not going to get involved with the Why? My boss is a jerk, and if we go together, maybe he'll Honestly, feel intimidated. I'm starting to feel like maybe you were the reason why you got fired. Yeah, from get, this, you saw, get, this, get this guy in a fucking film. Serious, campy, jokey, I don't care. Get him in a, get him in a film. Get him in a movie. Somebody cast him. Like, come on. <laughs> What, tell me why the ketchup should be under lock and key. Just take half the bag. That would make so much better. And my arms are sore. People are supposed to only be sending letters. I think they're putting freaking rocks and lead and tungsten in these. This is what I think of you and your stupid bag. That is my garage door, dude. Don't make me pay for that. I don't have Popeye's money coming in anymore. That's not a lot of money enough, dude. How are you going to get <laughs> He made the other guy break character for a second there. I don't know if you could hear that towards the end. I don't have Popeye's money coming in anymore. That's not a lot of money enough, dude. How are you going to get out of that shirt? I don't know. Can you, can you get some scissors and cut me out? Do you have any clothes or glasses with mustache and nose on them so I can maybe sneak into Popeye's and pretend to change my name and get hired Just again? The Popeye's thing. Just the Popeye's this thing. is such yeah. the only chicken chain restaurant in town. Do you think people would get mad if I just handed any piece of mail to anybody because yes. they would eat no why yes because that's why not them they need to receive their mail why is everyone so picky these days because of the law you can't open other people's mail i mails. hate the law please is, no do you have pink eye yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is great man for real get him in a movie it's such good acting Oh, man. <laughs> I don't have Popeye's money coming in anymore. I can't, I can't afford it. Plus, like, what a... Ooh, can I get there in time? Dang it. No, I can't. That's okay. Plus, what a way to, what a way to spend your time. Loud, yeah, sorry. Um, just fucking making funny skits with your brother, man. Is this another one that doesn't have settings that don't apply? Or wait, is this another one that has settings that don't apply? Bloody Hills demo. In other news, for the elder and nostalgic public, we announced the grand reopening of the definition of summer, where you might have gotten your first crush, or where the memories remind you of simpler times, and where we learn about resilience and being a community. Ladies and gentlemen, Sunny Hills will finally be open to the public. Is this just Friday the 13th? Uh, by the way, I, I watched the original Friday the 13th recently. Not great. And I, I don't think it's the movie's fault. I think uh, I just struggle with movies from that long ago. Because they're... Here, here's a rant no one asked for. They're just... They're, the pacing is entirely different. It's entirely different. Um, and again, it's not just that movie. It's these long takes, these long shots. They're holding frames. Like, it's just very different. 
The average attention span, I'm sure, has actually tanked. People always say that. I, I never know if that's actually true. Like, I believe it. But, like, has someone measured average attention span over that many years? To Anyways. Um, yeah, there's a, there were a lot of moments in Friday the 13th where I was watching it. And I was like, why are we still looking at this? What purpose? Although, to be fair, there were some times where it was just like, I don't see how this little sequence mattered to the movie. Like there's a part where she's just picking up around the kitchen, but it's from one angle. It's from one angle and it's like a 45 second scene. So, I mean, realistically in the overall length of the movie, it's not a lot of time, but there are many instances like this and it's, it's, it's just 45 seconds to a minute of her cleaning up the kitchen. There's no talking. There's no music. It's just the little sounds that happen as you clean a kitchen and you just watch it. And it's like, okay, we've established what she's doing and where she's doing it. What is the next thing? And I could not figure out. I was like, why are they holding on this for so long? So yeah, I, I struggled with that movie and you know, I attention is a thing I lack if you don't know. Um, so it was a combination of of older movies being cut differently and then also my own um um attention uh uh my own itch uh that's I don't know how I want to say that my own desire to have something interesting always happening um I don't think it was but I don't blame the movie for that and I don't think it was bad because of it Movies, I mean, pretty sure that movie came out in 1980. They're just made different. They were just made differently. They were just made differently. Completely different type of movie. It is pronounced attention deficit disorder. No. Thank you for the bit. You run fast as fuck. That feels fast. Yeah, I don't know what HD is, but the doctor says I have 80 of them, so. Okay, so, like, a real question. Do you disagree? Sorry, that need, that question needs more context. Um... But no, I hear you. I don't think it's a generational thing. There's still modern movies. Yes, but I don't think modern movies are built on drawn out shots. I think now when you do a movie and you're holding a shot, it's it's like specific and like intentional. But like I Ooh, I'm really struggling with words. Um, I think the difference is, is like the average today isn't drawn out shots. Like there are movies that have drawn out shots, but the movie's not built on drawn out, drawn out shots. Whereas it in Friday of the 13th, every shot was a drawn out shot. For the most part, every, almost every single shot felt like longer than it needed to be. <clears throat> the, 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 I actually don't remember. I, I, I have seen that movie. I don't remember it very well at all. In that movie you watched, it was specific and intentional. Well, yes, for pop culture movies, they're all rapidly edited. I mean, Friday the 13th is a pop culture movie, although I don't think at the time they thought it was going to be a, as big of a thing as it was. And and I think I'm fine with, with long shots. So long as they're, they're serving a purpose. Whereas, I mean, I don't watch many old movies, so Friday the 13th just is my current point of reference 
um, many of those did not feel like they served a purpose or it felt like their purpose was served 30 seconds ago. And I'm sure there are quick cut eight movies from the eighties, but boy, watch, watching that was watching that was tough. Or you missed the purpose. That's that's fair. That's plausible. I I mean I just definitely think there were some unnecessarily long shots in that in that movie. <laughs> oh, and the one with the sister with asthma and the power pole, hereditary. <laughs> asthma. Wasn't it an allergy? She. That's what. Wait, was it asthma? They were driving home because she had an allergic reaction, I thought. Or did she also have asthma on top of that? Like, um, I, I will... Between the three movies... There's X, Pearl, and Maxine. I will fuck up the names. I have a very tough time getting the titles of those movies straight. But at the end of the second one is a fat long take. Like the longest of long takes I've ever seen. It's this giant monologue. It's fantastic. None of that feels unnecessary because there's like a crazy monologue happening happening the entire time. So like that is a long take where you go, wow, this is a long take. But it does, like you notice it, but it's not, it's not bothersome because like there's something being delivered. I just had a hard time feeling like there was something being delivered in every long take that I saw in Friday the 13th. Like, like character gets in the car, starts the car, peels out, peels out from where the car was. Right. And then it just keeps driving and we are just still, yep. Okay. It's turning down a second road now. Okay. And we're still just watching the car drive away basically any from that director Ari the director of Midsummer. it's all down to tension building yeah I again I don't really remember Midsummer that well but I, I don't remember the long shots sticking out like in a bad way okay so it's at Sunny Hills that way Oh, God. Oh. It's aggressive. <laughs> One thing about the monster from Friday the 13th, it's just a slow guy with a machete. It'd get old if 90% of the movie was him. Fun fact, the monster in Friday the 13th is not Jason Voorhees. It's not. Um, but that's, that's horror movie lore. I would not expect you to just no um and also throughout the rest of the friday the 13th series he gets like supernatural he can like teleport weirdly yeah correct it's not it's not jason Voorhees in the first one i won't spoil for you who it is um but it's not him No, you could spoil it. It's nowhere on my <laughs> list to watch. All right. At least you were honest. Um, it's his mom. The killer in Friday the 13th is... Uh, fuck, what is her name? What is her name? It's Mrs. Voorhees. Betsy? What is her name? Jason's mom has got it going on. Uh, Pamela. Pamela Voorhees. There it is. His mother is the killer in the first one. I'm sure it's a fine... 
well, here's the thing. I'm now terrified that I that I can't trust my own perception of movies. Like, I wonder if 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 Mute say were to watch Friday the Thirteenth, if he would come back and be like, "Yo, there are some long fucking shots in there that make no sense," or if he'd be like, "Yeah, it's fine. I don't know what you're talking about." There, I do remember there was one shot where it was just like, man, why? Why are we still watching this? And then there was a payoff at the end. And I was like, oh, okay. That one made sense. <laughs> Nothing. Can't do anything. Okay. All right. A nice little cabin. The ladder, but it's been a while since I watched it. I made it to the cat scene and smile and never finished the movie. They're coming up with a sequel. I'm excited for that one. So is this whole area explorable? I'm interested to hear what you think about the substance. Uh, well, after <laughs> after the Fred of the 13th discussion, I'm a little scared to say what I feel about <laughs> to say what I think about the substance. I haven't seen it yet. Um, but we do definitely want to watch it. We have Wednesday off, so perhaps we'll watch it then. It is it is a high on very high on her list. Oh, another cabin. Another shitter I can hide in. I I called out Dennis Quaid in that trailer too. That made me very happy that I saw that face and I was like, oh hey, that's Dennis Quaid. Did I, have I been, did I go to the wrong camp this whole time? Follow the path to East Hill Camp. Hmm. I heard he's playing the new Joker in the night. Okay, let's talk about that movie. I haven't seen it. Uh, apparently it's a musical, and also apparently, this is hearsay, uh, it was designed that way intentionally so that people would feel terrible about idolizing him from the first one. Right? Because, like, people, people became, I can't remember, Arthur? I forget the actual character's name um oh we made it okay um, it was great and apparently, apparently i've never been on live <laughs> television before but apparently sometimes i don't watch the sh i don't watch the news i don't watch the news i'm a kid and apparently every time apparently grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the powerball um, but yeah, people saw the first one and they were like, oh, I want to be like him. And you weren't, that was not the intention. You were not supposed to want to be like that guy. Like that was very bad. If you walked away from that movie thinking he was cool. So then in the second one, they just made him like a literal mental patient, apparently. So that people definitely didn't want to be him. And then also made it a musical for some reason. Uh, Dreamweaver High Prom. What a title. We're thrilled to host the prom party this Friday. Come visit us at Northside 23. The party takes its place at night. We have a special guest who graduated from Harvard 15 years ago and is currently the mayor of Sunny Hills, Mr. Jacob Stones. 
Hope you'll come to see us. Missing. Have you seen this man? John Chuck looks like maybe he found drugs. 45, 511, 165. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need What the fuck? Thank you for the bits. Oh, is that SpongeBob AI? All right, then. Thank you for the bits. I'll count that. I'll do that hydrate. Oh, I immediately needed more water now. Man, that was so bad compared to... It was noticeably not as great as the Gordon Ramsay one. <clears throat> All right. Hey, counselors, welcome. This literally is the plot of Friday the 13th. Hey, counselors, welcome on your summer job. I'm sending you this list of jobs to do before we open camp to the public. Remove the old crates from the cabins and prepare the beds. Clean the cabins. Make sure no child enters any of the old ruined cabins by covering them with tape and a fence. Hide all old newspapers and reports of crimes that happened here. Yep. Literal Friday the 13th plot line. Oh, right. You just teleport in and out of those. Where is this pink light coming from? No, SpongeBob. Assertive, not insertive. Much better. Much better. Thank you for the bits. Hmm. Bro, that looks like a that looks like a head. That was crazy. Okay, so I'm realizing that like opening drawers and shit is just not a thing in this one, which is fine. I need to learn to not do that. <laughs> Man, 
Man, I really thought I could open that one, though. The weapon cabin. Huh. That's the only one I can do? We're in the Sunny Hills camp. Come back at night, take a rest. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you got to do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. What? Thank you for the bits. What? He's a cake to bake a pretty cake if the way is haze. Huh? Wait, which which cabin though? Like the Sunny Hills camp or like just any one of these? That's going to be a problem for me later. What's up, deer? Do I go to Sunny Hills camp now? Was the game built entirely in Gary's Mod? Kinda looks like it doesn't. And of course the Sunny Hills camp is the furthest camp. When do you unlock fast travel? Great question. When I can teleport from post light to, or street light to street light. Lamp to lamp.
This cabin? I can't, the door doesn't open. And then this one didn't open for me because this was just storage. Okay, this one. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is already starting to be a shit of a nightmare. Literal, fr still the Friday the 13th plotline. I don't like that music getting louder and louder. Fucking stop it. Stop it. Yeah, man, where in the dick is this flashlight? It's in here, right? Or is it in a different cabin? Is it in this cabin? No, binoculars. That's a banana. Is it this cabin? What the fuck? Why does this one... Why does this one have weird lights on?
Okay, so... I can lean. Cool, but I can't. There it is. Holy shit. Go to the storage cabin. You got it. This one, right? This is a bright flashlight. That's a dead deer. I wish I could see is the only thing. Oh, I can. Why did it put me in this way? There it is. Is that a fucking through night? I need to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Well, he got me, chat. <laughs> he got me. What was that? Okay. All right. So that battery the energy is down. was here. This is already starting to be a shit of a night. And the flashlight is not there. Uh. I do not have it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so it's in a different one every time.
here. It, it builds tension very well, this game. Now we don't to get the hell we don't leave me. yet, chat, because that's how we got caught the first time. There it is. Okay, so he never, like, goes away, really. Oh, come on. Can I just walk out of here? You mean like get to the street? So I can do that, I think. That's just this way. Nice. Oh, God. I'm gonna say I need the fucking stamina bar to refill. Can I blind him? That was actually terrifying. But not in like the jump scary way, it built tension very, very well. It was the long hanging shots for sure. <laughs> I mean, it... I would, I would almost say in your free time, watch the movie and then tell me if you agree or not, but I already have a feeling you're not going to, and I don't want that to be confirmed in reality. <laughs> That yeah, was it was those long shots of a car d driving through the woods.
I think what also kind of did it for me on a lot of those is that they didn't have dialogue or monologue. Like, there's no music either, so it's just, which I, I mean, I know I mentioned, but I don't know. It just, it was so weird watching a scene in a movie where someone is doing something and that's all that's happening. Like the one, the fixed camera angle and all you see is them. Like rearranging furniture or, or whatever. I can't even really remember. I feel like it was cleaning a kitchen, but I, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I th think we got time. One more little demo, and then the demos will be out of the way, and then we can, we can do Loud Mountain on a, uh, Thursday. That's the title of the day. Thank you for embracing Loud Mountain. I mean, if it's... If it's anything like um, Biohazard, that's not what I wanted to say. Resident Evil? Worth. 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 Not only worth it, but I owe it to myself to play it. Okay, V-Sync on, full screen, resolution's right, DLSS on, quality, frame gen, can't do it, overall quality, epic. Cool, okay, let's give that a crack. Yeah, Silent Hill 2, even coming in cold, is 8 out of 10, but if you'd play the original, it's easily 9 out of 10. Gotcha. 8 out of 10, still, rock fucking... Oh, wait, didn't I... Wait, didn't I try playing this? And this is exactly what happened? Did I just straight up forget that I gave this a shot? What does Steam say? Yeah, September 16th. I played it for the first time. But it didn't say I had any hours logged on it. Oh, right, because that's what was happening. Yep. Right. I remember now. That's why it was unplayable. Yep. All coming back.
Wait, it says I have 105 minutes in here. What? I do not remember playing it for that long. Let's see, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it there and get to bed at a decent hour. We are gonna raid out, so please stick around. We're gonna raid out. We just need to find a target. There's a game called Mouthwatch, Mouthwashing. set up uh again sorry it's so late thursday we won't be thursday loud mountain slash silent hill um we're weak drink water eat food touch grass This it is this is Halloween. Uh, I might not be super active in the raid chat only because I don't want to spoil much for myself. Um, like I just flat out might not be watching, but do you want to show some support? Uh, a lot of game ideas I get I get from Spoon. He plays a lot of horror games or a lot of stuff where I'm just like. I should fucking play that because it looks fun. So for that, I owe him. But yeah, we'll see you guys Thursday.